All right, what's up guys? I'm just gonna unbox this real quick. This just came in the mail. I believe it's my spoiler extension. I hope it's not damaged because the box is kind of fucked up. This is one of the parts for my car I'm going to be doing an install video on. I wasn't expecting it to come today. I gotta go to work here pretty soon. So uh, let me unbox this real quick. All right, so let's pull this thing out of here. Sorry for the shitty angles and stuff guys. All right, so here it is. It's kind of like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks like it's like a little worn, but it is what it is. Uh, there's no like really bad defects or anything. I'm sure I can just try to clean it up a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it unpainted like this for right now when I install it and everything. I really like it. I thought it would be a little bit more wide, I guess, to extend the spoiler out, but I guess we won't know until we put it on like really how it how it looks but i mean from like first impressions it's pretty sick so i'm really excited to install this um stay tuned and you'll see a installation video right after this all right right now i'm going to try to put on my spoiler extension hopefully this goes away smoother um, i'm gonna clean my spoiler and get everything like prepped and ready to go put the 3m tape onto the actual or the spoiler extension itself and then see how that goes so let's get into it all right so i've prepped the spoiler on here it's all nice and clean there's some like i don't know if you can see them yeah some scratches there that were already on the spoiler itself i don't think that should affect anything <laughs> struggling to kind of get it on here right i believe i have the right distance and everything like that i just don't think that the mold of the actual spoiler extension was like perfect so what i'm gonna do is everything's solid up until about right here and then it starts to bow out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go get some new tape and as you can see like here you can see how much actual space is in between here what i'm gonna try to do is go get some uh more tape and i'm just gonna slip it under here and stick it down as much as i can otherwise it's pretty damn good like on there and everything so i don't know i think it looks sick but yeah so let me go get some more tape and i'll come back and fix it all right so this is where we're at on the spoiler extension <laughs> So this is kind of weird and ghetto rigged, but I have just some paracord that's wrapped around this edge that like would not stick. And right now it's it's doing all right, like with that bonding it. So it's kind of acting like a 
clamp almost. My friend's bringing over a heat gun uh, in a couple hours. I've been trying to use the hair dryer, it doesn't work. I'm gonna go around with the heat gun and I'm just gonna heat up all the sides of it and just make sure that it's on there like really, really good. Okay, so the spoiler extension. I'm gonna talk about my experience installing it. It was kind of a pain in the ass, just like anything with cars. Nothing's ever gonna go right the first time that you try it. Let me explain. So I got it on, it's all good right now, but let me tell you about the bumps that I had to overcome with this spoiler extension. Um, I bought the little bit cheaper one, it's on Amazon, rather than the one that's on eBay. The one on Amazon does not come included, the mounting 3M tape, but the one on eBay does. I have no experience with the eBay one, so I can't really speak to how well that adhesive is. I bought 3M automotive tape. Um, I think it's like a quarter of an inch wide. I probably should have gone with the wider one, but I didn't. My advice to you, if you are installing one of these on your Speed 3, definitely get the wider tape. It's gonna just adhere better. I was doing it in the cold, which was not a good thing. Um, and I knew this, so I had a hair dryer to heat up the 3M adhesive tape. And when I went to go put it on, like you saw in the clip before, my dad and I, we were trying to line it up correctly. And while we were trying to do that, it stuck. And at that point, we just had to put it on. And uh, it actually ended up working out. It fit perfectly fine, except for one side. And we were sticking it down, it was sticking, it was all good. But then my dad had a problem with the one side. And what it was, was the actual mold of the spoiler extension, it wasn't perfect. And what happened was there was too much space on that one side just because the mold wasn't perfect. I didn't know what I was going to do about that. I thought maybe just putting more 3M tape on it would do the trick. And uh, actually I bought the five feet spool of the 3M tape and it really wasn't enough. Um, I thought it was when I put it on there and everything like that. I thought it was going to be enough and it wasn't. So I recommend maybe getting 10 feet of it and you should be good to go, learn from my mistakes. Since the mold wasn't right, I didn't know what I was gonna do. It just kept on popping off, popping off on the one side. The other side was sticking perfectly fine, just the one side, it just wasn't right. And we had it lined up perfect. We had it lined up correctly. Um, I didn't think it was, but it was, so. So I put some more 3M tape underneath it to try to bridge the gap doubled up on the 3M tape to make it thicker. So it would hopefully uh, fill in that space. I was heating it up and the blow dryer just wasn't cutting it. It might have been getting the tape hot enough, it just was not getting the, the mold. And that's what it came down to was the mold wasn't perfect. What I thought of was, okay, well, I'm just gonna wait. I waited for my friend to drop off a, a heat gun and that worked way better. Heated up the 3M tape where I needed it to be so it, it would adhere right and uh, all that stuff was good. Um, I molded the one side correctly to the spoiler which that's how it should have came when I got it, but it wasn't so. I molded it right, it was sticking good. I drove the car around a little bit. It was cold out, like I said, um, I had to run some errands. I came out from one of my errands and the other side started to unstick itself. So I was like, what the hell, you know, it was just, uh, it was annoying me and everything like that. That's why I didn't film a lot, uh, just cause I was getting frustrated. I mean, the, the whole installation process is pretty simple. I mean, if you already have the 3M tape on there, and you do what I tell you to do in this video, it should go flawlessly. It's one of those things, things don't always come perfect, especially with, uh, you know, body kits and things like that. I ended up molding it right, it went good. I just ended up heating up the other side, put a little bit more 3M tape on the other side that was starting to come up. Yeah, it's it's been good, it's sticking down really good. I think I might just heat it up a little bit more and kind of just get it like perfect to how I want it. But for right now, I mean, it's really sturdy. It's not loose or anything like that. There's just uh, like one area that I think keeps on coming up. So what I'm gonna try to do is maybe slip some more 3M tape uh, underneath and then just heat it up and stick it down. And I should be good to go. So other than that, it looks great. Um, I know some of you guys aren't gonna like the black. You're gonna say, why didn't you paint it? And uh, that type of stuff. I personally didn't want to paint it. I've seen Speed 3s with it unpainted, just the black, and I like it. So maybe eventually I'll just 
like paint it black or I'll paint it white. I'm not sure yet. I could also plasti dip it, which I might do. I might plasti dip it white and just glossify it. And it should look pretty good. I mean, my emblems are plastic white and they match my paint pretty well. So I might just do that. But for right now, I like the black. It's fine. Uh, it's the winter. No sun's going to be beating down on it to discolor it. But I think maybe once it starts to get discolored and stuff like that, I'll um, paint it. Either take it off and do it that way or I might plastic dip it or something like that. So it's not permanently one color. So if I ever want to go back to the black or whatever i can do that yep that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching if you guys have any suggestions for videos or any suggestions of where i went wrong with the install or anything like that post them down in the comments and i'll definitely you know reply to you guys that's pretty much it take it easy stay safe peace out